case there youtube you seriously need to give us some sort of more explanation here google adsense are you sure you're putting the right things here it doesn't make sense fellow creators who just crossed 1000 subscribers 4000 hours of you yeah. now you can subscribe to my channel as well Hello guys, Imran here. Thank you for tuning in. First of all, I would like to thank you all my subscribers because we just crossed 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of views uh, in within the last 365 days. Um, big task for me, so thank you so much. And all you fellow creators who might have just crossed 1,000, uh, you know, sus uh, subscriber count and uh, 4,000 hours of views. Now you get to monetize your channel, and you did that by clicking that dollar bling bling <laughs> but all of a sudden you saw a notification that youtube wants your tax information mm, a bit intimidating what they're going to do with that all those my personal information they need it they need it to make any international monetary transaction now this is required by google adsense uh, in particular and uh, when you go to the whole process uh, there are a few definitions over there for reasons are there but it's not very much well written and well defined that's why they need it I did my own research and recently, as I told you, this channel just crossed the monetization threshold. So I provided my tax details and in one swift action, I got it approved. And I'm going to share with you all guys that how to get it done in one single sweep and be ready and start making that bling bling. So there you go. Go to your YouTube main page and you'll see the main page as it's normal. Then you have to click on your icon of the channel. Go to YouTube Studio. On the YouTube Studio, you'll see the normal page. You have to click on Monetization, and then you'll see the normal monetization page with over overview, membership, supers. I haven't said them yet, but we'll cover them in a different video. And you have all these things like introduction, earning with ads, earning engage with fans, CEO earnings, assessing support if you need one. This is the section actually on the right, which is important: getting paid. And it says not ready for payment why what do you need to do to get the payment the answer is right there you haven't yet met the payment threshold to receive the payment which is 70 euros i mean europe so i'm talking in euros so below that you can say what i can set up when i can set up as payments we will notify you when you are ready to complete the payment setup including xyz points one two three points are there and you can basically know about it now in this, what is important is to see, learn more. When you click learn more, you go to that page which says Google AdSense help. Now here is a video which you can watch for setting uh, steps to getting paid, when you will get paid, the first payment, all the steps are there, which are mentioned in the bottom as well, provide your tax information. And then you see it says how to submit your tax information to Google. And this is where we have to go. Click on it, you'll come to this page. It says how to submit your tax information. Click payment, manage settings, at all. Just sign in to your Google AdSense page. It will sign you in. And here you see everything is 0000. The reason behind it is when you click on notification, it says, okay, there are two notifications. Important check additional information is required from you and all. This is the important one. AdSense no longer shows your YouTube metric. To see your estimate earning and other monetization metric, use the YouTube Analytics Revenue Report. So here, no matter how much you earn, it will always show you zero. Ah, that's what it is. That's what, how they made it. What is important here is to go back and check payments, manage settings, manage tax info. You go to payments and there's no manage settings. Payment info is there. So manage tax info on the top you will see. You click on that. And it will take you to this particular page where you submit your tax information as soon as possible. It gives you the Google May withhold about 30% of payout. Hmm, too much. So you have to put the tax information on the file. And at the bottom, you'll see all the information manage tax preferences. Then you go down. I would suggest Go Paperless, and it's recommended as well. It's easy, it's swift, it's secure. And then you can read the information which is provided into the paperless delivery agreement. 
and then it says update delivery preference but before that you have to accept the paperless delivery agreement you have to accept the paperless delivery agreement you click on that it will take you back to the page and it says you take it that you may not be eligible to receive tax document due to your tax status because you didn't receive qualifying payments if you're eligible your documents will appear all you need to do click add tax info it gives you the whole shebang let's go ahead to continue please verify it's you a new window will appear to sign in you may need to turn off any pop-up blocker to see the sign in screen now here it asks united states tax info now if you're not living in states don't worry just follow the steps so what type of account is more than one that's my name individual next are you citizen or resident of united states i'm not so i'll put no if you are you put yes now if you are not you have to put wa tax form so there are two wa tax form w8 ben w8 eci ben this form is mostly most commonly used by non-us individual and would be used to claim tax benefit that's me if you're a US citizen, you obviously choose W8ECI, which is for US resident or citizen. Now you go and you start with WEBEN form. Now here it will ask you to identify yourself, tax identification. Your name would be there already, which you open your account with, and it will ask you to provide certain other informations. Now dba doing business as name or disregarded entity this is like your channel name if you want to put your channel name here or your company name or whatsoever it could be and it's optional it's not mandatory if you just want to run the whole thing in your name you can leave it as it is however moving to the next important point country region of citizenship now don't worry if you are not a u.s citizen and you're doing business somewhere else for example i'm living in greece uh, but i hold indian nationality so i'll put my country here don't worry it's not going to affect your earning in any way or form you just know where you come from your origin now next option is taxpayer identification number this is your tax number provided by your country so for example you are australian living in united states so you will put the australia and you'll put the tax number which is provided to you by united states government because you're living and making you're living and earning as you say in the states so you'll put your tax number there now i'm going to hide my tax number for obvious reasons i don't want to display them now as you see it says optional but i would suggest you to do that and click next now it will ask for your permanent resident address permanent resident address is basically where you're living or what you consider as your permanent address because if uh, youtube have to send you or google have to send you any sort of documentation or any sort of you know uh, courier that is the address they are going to use so you'll use the address where you are living and registered so i'm putting the greek address uh, obviously covering that as well now you if your mailing address is same as uh, permanent resident address you click option and you click next now are you claiming reduced tax rate of withholding under tax treaty and you click yes because Greece and states have a tax treaty um, treaty I will put Greece the country I'm living in and then you choose all these three services now you click first it will give you article and paragraph you choose that it will give you the rate of holding I'll put it zero this is the uh, checkbox that you have to click to give you kind of a confirmation then you put the motion picture now when you push a picture Greece and the states have no treaty so I'll be taxed with the maximum or the highest possible that is 30 percent withholding rate which you see here because this is for TV realities and all sort of things and again you're giving your declaration and confirmation other copyright royalties such as play and YouTube partner program and all obviously you're clicking that as well and yes uh, but go crazy we do have a treaty for this as well with the United States Article 7 withholding rate zero tax treaty again my declaration and confirmation and clicking next now here you can see all these documents uh, which are into PDF form and you can check them all one by one uh, I would say go ahead and read them all uh, to make sure you have all the right information in the tax brackets 
no information is missing or being you know, mistyped. Easy way to do it just to check what you have already written because it will be copy and pasted over there automatically. But I would say please go and read each individual PDF file just to be sure from your side. Now there's a confirmation that it requires so I can now this is a certification under the penalty of uh, perjury I declare that I have examined the information on this form and to the best of my knowledge and belief it is true correct and complete I further certify under penalties and perjury that and XYZ things are there you can read them all it is just to kind of give you an ultimatum that if you're providing any wrong information you will be penalized you type your full name uh, it will be considered as your e-signature uh, if I put it that way and then yes if you are the one uh, who is doing for yourself you put yes I'm the person listing the signature if not you choose the second option and then you click next and then it comes activities and service performed in US and affidavits now if you're in the States and if you're doing your business or you're or, you know all this YouTube channel thing in the States you will read has the individual or entity in identified in a tax selection performed any activity service for Google within US are you in US? You click yes. If you're not like I'm not in US, I'll click no. Again, I certify by reconfirming it, clicking that box. Status change affidavit. Are you providing tax info for new or existing payment profile that hasn't received payments or an existing payment profile that have previously received payment? This is a new account. I have never received a payment uh, from Google for this. So I'm providing tax info for new or existing payment profile that haven't, hasn't received payment. Paperless again, paperless recommendation. I obviously go by paperless because it's e getting on email is faster, quicker, safer, more secure. So yeah, there. I would recommend as well to go paperless. You go through all the shenanigans over there, reading about it, what it is, how it works, and then accept the paperless delivery agreement, and you click submit. As soon as you do that, huh, within seconds, you will see that you are basically approved. There you go. The status is approved submitted on a particular date, submitted by me, Mohamed Imran. Uh, all the forms are there, claim, 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 all three forms. And it asks for your hmm, survey. Ah, I am satisfied, so I gave them a smiley face. Now, if you ever want to submit a new form, there is pretty easy. There is a submit new form button over there. You click it and you provide all your information all over again, or the new one or the changes that you want to make to it. Keep in mind, W8BEN form is by default because you're not in stage, so that will remain so. The rest are shown as claimed. Now it says, you may not be eligible to receive tax reporting document due to your tax status or because you didn't receive qualified payment. If you're eligible, your document appear as soon as they are ready. So it's the same thing that uh, my, this particular channel is not eligible yet because it haven't crossed the threshold of 70 euros. Again, because I'm in Europe, I get paid in euros. So 70 euros is the threshold here. It might be different in your particular region it will mention you when you come to this page and you're done with it just to be on the safe side go to your google account the gmail one your email account and you will find one email giving you this particular confirmation your tax information has been approved and if there is a no other holding on your account or balances above the minimum depression threshold that may apply you will be paid in timely manner and the right taxes will be held up to 30 percent if applicable there you go i hope you guys like this video and it helped you a lot for other videos please check my channel if you like it do give it a like and subscribe and see you in the next one